Who wants to wait weeks or months to look younger? I know I don't. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five simple tips to help you look upwards of 10 years younger immediately. All of these work, they're all Dr. Yoon approved. Let's start you on your way to looking 10 years younger. One of the most common complaints that I get from my patients is that they don't like the bags under their eyes that they get as they get older. Now, puffiness under the eyes is very, very common, and this is due to fat that is protruding from your eye socket. Now, typically, this is something that I treat with surgery, and the operation is called a lower blepharoplasty, and I can actually remove this puffy fat with no visible scars, and you can see in this before and after of a patient who I did that for. So how can you get a similar result, but not have to go under the knife, and how can you get that immediately? Well, the answer is called Plexiderm. Plexiderm is a topical product that you can apply under the eyes and around the crow's feet area that can help to visibly reduce the appearance of puffiness and wrinkles. And it works almost immediately. Let me show you as we demonstrate this. This is Renee, she's 57 years old and she's got some minor wrinkles under her eyelids that we're gonna treat with Plexiderm. Plexiderm uses silicate minerals to form a temporary tightening layer of the skin. It visibly smooths crow's feet and wrinkles. So Renee just finished applying the Plexiderm. We're gonna give it 10 minutes for it to set and we'll show you her results. So now here is Renee after 10 minutes of using the Plexiderm and you can see that this side is the affected side and this side we did not treat. There is a huge difference in the wrinkles on her one side versus the other. Renee's gonna apply it to her other eyelids so she can even herself out. The results of Plexiderm last upwards of 10 hours. Pretty impressive, right? Thank you to Plexiderm for sponsoring this video. And if you are interested in trying Plexiderm for yourself and seeing that puffiness go away almost instantly, then click the link in the caption below and it will take you there. I once had a young woman come to see me for consultation for a brow lift. She didn't like that as she got older, her brows got droopier and made her look like she was tired or even grumpy. And she expected that the only option for her was to undergo a painful one and a half to two hour operation. Well, brow lift operations do work, and here's a before and after of a patient of mine who underwent a brow lift surgery. But this is an operation where you do have permanent scars. You may actually lose hair growth in the location of those scars, and this is an operation that has risks like any surgery. Well, I took one look at this young woman and instead of talking to her about a brow lift operation, I sent her to my esthetician. She had her brow lift. Now this wasn't a surgical brow lift, this was a brow lift literally by waxing the hair on the undersurface of her eyebrows. Now studies show that brow lift operations will increase the distance from your eye to your brow by literally just a few millimeters. Well, if you have got a thicker brow anyway, if you take out some of that hair by either plucking it or waxing it, then you can increase that distance on your own and essentially do a brow lift. Now this definitely works best if you've got thicker, bushier brows. If you've got those Brooke Shields brows from the 1980s, then this can work really, really well for you. But unfortunately, if you've got those pencil thin eyebrows like from the early 2000s, then there may not be a whole lot that you can do with waxing or plucking your brows. Now, if you are gonna try this, I don't recommend doing this by yourself at home. If you've never done it before, you could over pluck your brows and it's possible that that brow hair may not grow back. So I encourage you to seek a true professional in the art of brow reshaping. Injections of filler to plump the lips is one of the most popular cosmetic treatments in my office. And it's also one of the most painful. Now, I do these injections all the time, but I'll tell you, it's probably my least favorite injection to do because honestly, I feel really bad for my patients. It really hurts like hell when you're taking that needle or that cannula and injecting their lips with it. Now, the good thing about lip injections is that they do work, they can last many, many months, and the result can be very impressive. Take a peek at my medical assistant, Jenny, before and after she had her lips injected, and you can see they look really nice. But how can you get a somewhat similar result to lip injections, but without actually having your lips injected? Well, topical lip plumpers have come a long way. It used to be that all the topical lip plumpers did is that they would irritate your lips and sting your lips so aggressively that your lips would plump up. It's like getting your lips stung by a bee. Now the topical lip plumpers are much more advanced. 
they combine aggressive hydration of the lips with mild irritation to give you kind of the best of both worlds. One of my favorite topical lip plumpers and one of the most highly rated out there is Sexy Mother Pucker. You can easily find this online and I'll put a link in the caption below. And let's take a peek at one of my employees as she tries Sexy Mother Pucker. We're gonna test Sexy Mother Pucker by Soap and Glory on Karen to show you how it works. Karen is now applying the Sexy Mother Pucker to her lips. How's it feel? Sticky, but we'll see when it starts tingling. It's been about a minute since Karen applied the Sexy Mother Pucker. How's it feeling now? It feels tingly, a little bit like a buzzing feeling on the lips, but not bad, doesn't hurt. It's been a few minutes, how are your lips feeling now? They feel soft, they feel moisturized, and I do see a subtle difference. They do look a little bigger to me too. So if you want to try Sexy Mother Pucker for yourself, head to the caption below and click the link. The absolute first thing that I notice about somebody is their smile. Are their teeth yellow? Are they gray? Are they brown? Are their teeth missing? Or on the opposite side, are they so blindingly white that they look fake? Well, there are a lot of ways that you can whiten your teeth nowadays. You can go to the dentist and you can get a laser type of treatment to it for a couple of thousand dollars. You can get veneers or you can even get caps where they remove parts of your teeth and replace it with a cap overlying it. Well, these treatments are all extremely expensive and in some of them, once again, they will irreversibly alter your teeth. So if you have got coffee stained teeth, if you've got tea stained teeth, if you have a history of smoking and your teeth are just kind of stained looking, or maybe just from years and years of not whitening them, then there is a very simple option that definitely works. Crest makes a 3D white toothpaste that is mildly abrasive to your teeth and literally scrubs away those surface stains. Your teeth can become several shades lighter after just literally brushing your teeth with this toothpaste for a few days to a week or so. But keep in mind that this toothpaste is somewhat abrasive. You don't necessarily want to use them long term because there is a potential risk of them damaging your enamel. For this reason, not all dentists are fans of this type of toothpaste. But they definitely do work if you've got surface stains, especially from coffee or tea or smoking, they can definitely help to create a significant whitening of your teeth. In fact, take a look at these before and afters from a YouTuber who tried that toothpaste and you can see the results are pretty impressive. Now, if you wanna take that a step further, Crest 3D also makes a mouthwash containing peroxide that you can combine with the toothpaste. You combine the two, literally you're spending less than 15 or $20 and they can make a really big change in the color of your teeth. You can easily find these products at your local drugstore, at Target, or I will leave a link in the caption below if you want them mailed directly to you. Do you have sunspots? Maybe you've got age spots, maybe you've got liver spots. Well, these are many names for basically the same thing, unwanted pigment on parts of your body. Excessive sun exposure can cause your skin to deposit these types of unwanted pigmentary blemishes. And unfortunately, the body doesn't just automatically get rid of these types of age spots. They will not go away unless you actively get rid of them. Now, I've got some bad news for you. There is no instant way to get rid of age spots. Now, you can put makeup over it. That will cover it up, but they actually obviously won't be gone. But we do have a great option that is pretty darn close to it, and it's called Intense Pulse Light, or IPL. IPL treatments are performed in med spas or doctor's offices across the country, and it's a non-invasive way for light energy to target the pigment in those spots. It turns those spots darker, and usually within about a week or so, those spots tend to slough off. Now, one treatment of IPL can often get you a nice visible change in your skin, but you usually need anywhere from three to four treatments for maximal effect. Some great things about IPL is that it's completely non-invasive, it has almost no pain associated with it. You may feel like a little rubber band snapping at your skin. And compared to other cosmetic facial treatments, it's pretty inexpensive. This can help save you money, but still give you a really nice result. And if you wanna take it to the next level, I encourage you to combine IPL with brightening creams. There are numerous ingredients in brightening creams that can act with IPL almost synergistically to help reduce those spots. Look for ingredients like hydroquinone, which you should only do for up to six months at a time, kojic acid, and licorice root extract. I'll leave a link in the caption below for my favorite brightening cream from Yoon Beauty. 
So these are five secrets that some doctors may not be happy that I shared with you. But there are a lot of secrets that skincare companies and traditional skincare and even physicians, I believe, get wrong and don't want you to know about as well. For example, did you know that there are certain ingredients in very popular skincare products that can be very harmful and irritating to your skin? Or that sometimes certain skincare influencers and even doctors focus on the wrong thing when you're thinking about the health of your skin? I share what traditional skincare and skincare companies get wrong on this video right up here. And this is gonna open your eyes to a whole new way at looking at your skin and your skin's health. And remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.